Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. This box represents the start of something good, <laughs> I hope, because this is my first online purchase. So I would call this unboxing my Valentine's Day gift from my hubby without him knowing about it. <laughs> so, hey, well, this is your Valentine's Day gift to me, okay? He just smiled. So, first of all, I have never ever bought any plants online. If I have a choice, I would prefer to buy my plants in person because I like to touch and feel and see exactly what I'm getting. So buying succulents online, well, eventually I know I'm gonna get there, but, oh, hello. This is Pedro. Hello, baby P. So this is my budgie. He's gonna help us unbox this. Are we gonna start, start? Okay, mommy, stop chit-chatting now and just open the box. Is that what it is? So anyway, so I recently got COVID <laughs> and Pedro, did I test you? You're negative? Yeah, so I'm negative now. So I'm all on the mend because I was sick and I couldn't go out and buy plants. Then I was forced to just have a look online to investigate what else is available that I could not actually buy in person because the plants I'm after were sort of the rare ones and they've always been out of stock. And then I accidentally wandered off into eBay from Collector's Corner, which I wanted to visit one day, but I thought I'd just go have a look if they have Andromiscus. That is Andromiscus fault. So if I start being addicted to buying succulents online, I am gonna blame it on this plant. So, but anyway, so let's start unboxing Pedro. Let's open up, let's see what present mommy's got. But Valentine's Day is coming up and hubby and I, we never ever give each other presents on Valentine's Day. So, so this might sound a little bit soapy, but every day for us is Valentine's Day. Hubby never ever bought me jewelry. I think he did once. That wasn't even Valentine's Day or anything like that. He was working away from home and then he just came home out of the blue. He bought me an opal pendant. So that is the only, but there's no occasion, no birthdays, no Mother's Day, no Valentine's Day. And come here, baby P, come. See, so just want to come. So we've started with us. There's no excuse for us to give each other, or there's no need for an excuse or an occasion for us to give each other presents. So, so just out of the blue, I would buy him presents, mostly food. And out of the blue, he would buy me presents. Mostly, now lately, tools, like he'll bring home an angle grinder or some <laughs> wire brush. But anyway, I'm just gonna open this up now and let's see what Valentine's Day presents he's got for me. <laughs> How many days did it took? I can't even remember when I ordered this. Can you remember, Pedro, when I ordered this? Because I can't. I think it was on the 24th. Or something like that okay see my budgie just that's what he does he just comes and goes whenever he feels like there you go <sighs> okay when I bought this ones they're all like represented the photo that's still in the soil so I don't know if it's gonna be in the soil okay are you ready <gasps> I already saw something oh my goodness so this bubble wrap go there, more bubble wrap. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay. Is this? Oh, wow. Look at this. They even have cultural notes for the plants. I wonder if, so collector's corner fact sheet. Well, because it's Valentine's Day soon. And so now, I've got this Hoya Keri Ai Albo Marginata Varigata. Such a long name. Anyway, so it's well packed and even got a label. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so beautiful. Okay, 
Number 84, because with Hoya here in Australia, they're all numbered. So that, that way you can collect like, I don't know how many varieties or species there is, but <laughs> you're gonna end up with, uh, the first time I bought some Hoya, I had a list because I think I bought every single one that's about there. So I think I ended up with about 35 Hoya or something like that. But then a lot of them died, so I returned it. So I think 15, I returned 15. And you go, oh, I love it so much, hang on. So it's nicely packed and look at all those beautiful, beautiful, beautiful leaves. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Okay, let's unpack it. I don't even know how to unpack this because I have a Hoya, a uh, Kerii. I should say just call this hard Hoya. When I get excited, I can't talk. <laughs> well, not that I can't talk, I can't think. Hang on, I don't want to damage you. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh. I'm in love, I'm in love. So this one is $35, so $35. I was jumping up and down the minute I saw it, but I just have to check first to see if I'm buying just one leaf or a whole plant with more than one leaf. Okay, so they really have to wrap this all up so it doesn't flip flop all over the place, which is really good. So it's packed well. And I'm gonna maintain it here. So, oh, beautiful. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? Look at the variegation. Now, I have a Hoya that I bought two years ago and it's only one. And the only growth so far that I've seen was this little stump in the bottom. So I don't know if you can see it, I'll put it in the back. So you see that little stump there? That's the only growth it had. After a year that I didn't see any growth at all, I transplanted it, I changed the soil, so it's now growing on my soil. And so it started growing the little bump. I don't know if it's a stem or if it's gonna be a flower. I don't know, are they slow growing? How slow do they grow? But anyway, so this one now, I'm thinking of uh, transplanting this again, I mean repotting it and planting it sideways. So the whole stem, I'm gonna cover it up. That's what I'm planning to do with this one because it's just so, so, hey, wow, well, look at my heart. Look, my husband said that, oh, did you buy a heart because I haven't got one? <laughs> He's got a lot of heart. He's full of heart. He's all heart. Okay, anyway. Oh, look at that beautiful, isn't it? It's my Valentine's plant. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's gorgeous. Okay, beautiful. Okay, about three years ago, I've discovered this plant. Well, I saw it online and it was one of those articles online about how people are, they're poaching the plants from the wild and um, selling it because uh, some succulent addict people like myself have started uh, buying them. So th that is the problem as well. So, but anyway, at that time, I was going to get one. I was going to buy one for Valentine's. <laughs> but it sort of stopped me because it's $150 the cost at that time for a small plant. And there was uh, someone selling on Marketplace or Gumtree or something like that. Here in Australia, we have Gumtree. And I thought, hang on, this is so <sighs> gentle, gentle. Please, please, this is so... Okay, I really have to do this <gasps> gently because I don't want to break. Oh, oh, careful, careful. This is so scary. Because it is in perfect condition. And now I'm going to damage it. Oh, it actually grew, I think, while it's in transit or while it's in the post. Look, there's some white uh, stem. So, do you have aphids? No, that's a leaf. That's a leaf. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this one is called Dioscoria elephantipis or elephant types or elephant's foot. Now, am I going to have, it will be a small foot, okay, at the moment because they do take a long time to grow. 
And I thought, oh, hang on, hold on. I'm really scared. Scared, I don't want to damage them. Okay, hang on. Okay, gentle, gentle. I am sweating. <laughs> oh, okay, because I just want to see and open it. It's like a really, really anticipated present. It's like you, you know, when I was a little girl, you say, oh, you'd be good so that, you know, during Christmas, Santa will give you what you want. And all I wanted was a new pair of shoes. <laughs> when I was younger so I had to wait the whole year just about because after my birthday it's still like a good 10 months before Christmas so we only get birthday present and Christmas present that's it we don't get anything in between you don't get a new toy and new clothes because you've been good or something like that but anyway oh, turning 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 okay that oh look at that foot okay the foot is still okay so the, the the photo is this okay it's supposed to look like that once it matures and so far it's got a little potato <laughs> it's got like one potato size so yeah the potato size okay a spud that's it i was looking for a term it's called a spud but anyway oh i love it you're gonna love this plant well look at it look <laughs> anyway so this is now my elephant's foot so i've got an elephant's foot so this is on my wish list so as i said before 150 i waited a long time and elephant's foot 25 dollars so anyway i'm so happy okay now i've got two cross off this is also on my wish list like i have all these plants so far the hoya heart it never entered my mind really to want that plant the variegated one because i already got the non-variegated one and i didn't even know they come in a variegated one so that was a nice surprise but uh the elephant's foot was on my wish list and then my next one is also on my wish list now this one is called this kidaya or dragon jade dragon i just love the look of this plant on the photo it looks very nice look i'm gonna give you a preview now okay can you see it okay i don't know oh no you can't now i'll put this one here this one is i think i don't know if it's a cutting or rooted or oh my goodness it is beautiful good choice lizzie oh it's got roots oh my goodness it's dragon jade okay the leaf one 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 leaf has fallen off oh my god i'm so excited i love this oh i really 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 love this i'm born under the year of the dragon by the way so it's like dragon scales and it's also shaped like a heart oh my god look at this look at the shape of that isn't that beautiful well, look at this plant. <laughs> look at this, like dragon scale, but it's dragon jade or jade dragon because it's jade probably because it's green, but it should be like dragon scale. Oh, beautiful. So I think they will grow from a leaf too anyway. So not gorgeous, like beautiful. Okay. I love it. And how much did I pay for you? $30. This is $30. And it is so worth it as long as I don't kill it. My plants are not all of them. I was under budget. I set a limit as to how much I want to spend first off. So that way I don't get carried away. So this one is not on my wish list. I didn't even know this plant exists. Now this one is sort of an impulse buy because I could not help but fall in love with the plant and and it is sort of a rarity as well because it's, uh, I think it's sort of extinct or something like that. But anyway, well, not now because people are growing them. But I think at one time, there's not much information about this plant, by the way, online. I could not find anything at all except for the taxonomy, the genus and the family and that sort of thing. It's called Avonia. Ruskia. This is a miniature succulent with tiny dense leaves on short creeping stems to 8 cm tall. It doesn't grow very tall. Small short-lived white flowers appear over the warmer months on growth tips. 
So anyway, this one, most of these plants has to be protected indoors. So I'm growing these ones indoors. None of them is going to grow outside. And... I just get so excited and my heart just goes thump, 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 like, I'm like a kid in a candy store. So I would really love to go to Collector's Corner one day. I said to Hubby already, can we spend a whole day? You need minimum a whole day to go there apparently. And it's also got a lot of gemstones. <gasps> don't, don't, okay. So this one is very delicate and small. I paid $25 for this plant. You need a close up. It's like fluffy scales okay it's not soft kind of looks like it's soft it's a bit like my begonia venosa it's almost the same thing so but okay look at this plant look at that isn't that a gorgeous cute little curiosity plant oh i love it and it's got flowers yes what got white flowers look it's flowering it's just opened up i wonder if i cross pollinated will i get some seeds from you <laughs> Anyway, oh, so delicate. I'm going to leave the one, the last one, uh, for the one that I'm going to blame for my new addiction. Online shopping for succulents and plants. Well, although in saying that, I would only buy, <laughs> I would only buy, like sort of rare ones <laughs> that I can't get um, somewhere else. But I wouldn't buy straight away. I would do my research first and try and find the best price or uh, I'm, I'd like to feel my way around. So this one now is, now, are you ready? Copiapoa hypogaea, hypogaea, cup. Oh, okay, that's, and that's what it's supposed to look like when it flowers. But anyway, Copiapoa, I'll just say copula. Oh my Lord, look. Look how gorgeous that is. Isn't that sweet? Look at that dainty little mounds. Ah, oh, no spikes. Do you have tiny spikes? I think it's got minuscule spikes. But isn't that beautiful? Look, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I want it. I want it. Yeah, copia poa. I paid $40 for this, but look how many babies it's got. I got one, two, three, four, five plants. See, gorgeous. So with plants like this, you can actually tell when they needed watering because they do sort of feel soft. They will sort of soften up. So that's what I find with most cacti is that they do feel a little bit soft. And then the minute you give them water, so this one's still hard, then they will harden off. So anyway, so this one, this is not on my wish list. I just saw it and I thought I really like the look of it. And then especially if it has all those babies, then that's why I bought it. So this is just on a whim, okay? So just like the carry eye, on a whim. So I've got oh, also <laughs> the Avonia on a whim. <laughs> so now I'm gonna get to, this one is on my wish list. This is Euphobia Obesa. Beautiful, beautiful. It's a rare collector's item forming a small symmetrical ball. So that's what I like about it. It is, ouch, don't, don't cut yourself. There you go. So this one, oh, it's small. And have you, ah, oh, this is only $25. I have searched high and low for this, like in person. I've never seen it in Bunnings <laughs> before unless some lucky person already found it before me. But for all, since 2016 is when I'm consciously on the lookout for rare things. I've never seen this one ever. I was sort of hoping and waiting and waiting and waiting. So what year is it now? So how, six years now, Well, Oh my goodness. Have I been a succulent addict for that long? Oh my goodness, I didn't even know that. So anyway, Euphobia obesa. So I wanted this because it's like a little round ball. Wilson! <laughs> it looks like a Wilson. <laughs> so anyway, it's gorgeous plant. So I think it's also slow growing. I don't know how fast they grow. And plants are either male or female and from tiny green flowers at the apex throughout the growing season. So 
Anyway, that's one of my list. Another, these two, the last two are also on my wish list. But uh, one was always out of stock. So I don't even mind paying what they're asking for, but it has come down in price, which is the good thing about it. I think the first time I saw it, it was um, quite expensive. And I was umming and ahhing whether I should get it or not. But anyway, this one now, okay. I don't know which one I'm gonna show you, but first, but okay, I'll have a peek. Oh, yes. <sighs> Okay, it scared me. Okay, but it's not scary. Okay. Give me, I'm shaking again. It's like, come on, where do you have to open it up? Like, <laughs> you know, little kids, when they try to open up a box, you know, the grandchildren. We have a grandson who gets frustrated. When you give him something to open up, he just go, ah, like this. Anyway, okay, so it's like, Nana. Okay, so this one, okay. This one is called Gymno Calicium Damsiae Varigata. Now, can you blame me if it is on my wish list? Because it is beautiful. Well, the photos, it looks beautiful. And in person, <gasps> it's even beautifuler. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't fall off. It's got babies coming off. Like, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Wow, look at this wall. <gasps> it's a rainbow cactus. It's a rainbow. Looks like your shirt. Oh, it's, it's, oh, Hubby said it looks like my shirt, my blouse. Okay, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful cactus. Always wanted one. I haven't got one. Always on my wish list. And this one. $30. That is cheap, 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 cheap <laughs> for $30. That's a bargain. I was actually thinking, I was worried at first because I thought I have to bid for it. But it says, buy it now. Okay, I was like, yay, buy it now before they changed their mind. So <laughs> uh, I think the two would be growing into variegated as well. And then there's one at the back here. It's just normal or non-variegated. And then the little variegated ones, I don't think they're going to grow. But uh, I'm happy that I got like three plants. So $10 a plant. That's cheap. Last but not the least. This is what I'm going to blame mm. if ever I do get <laughs> addicted from buying online. It's this plant's fault. Because I've been on the lookout for this for ages. For ages and ages and ages. And... It's always out of stock. And then while I was sitting here, uh, twiddling my thumb, not feeling well, coughing my heart out, feeling sick. Actually, uh, I lost my thermometer. I was actually feverish when I actually ordered this. It was, I was 41 degrees Celsius. I use my kitchen thermometer because we haven't got the normal thermometer. Anyway, I'm just going to have a sip now. Hang on just a sec. So when I bought these ones, I was shivering. I was feverish. And then I just thought, oh my God, you know, I'm so cold. And I thought I need something to keep me warm. So I'll just have a look online and have a look at, uh, what do you call this? Uh, succulent, gladiatorial, sporty, looking, shopping, window shopping, nothing wrong with window shopping it doesn't hurt anyone to go window shop so i thought i'll just go check collector's corner if they have this plant and lo and behold i got my balls <laughs> i call them <laughs> wrinkly balls Check that out. You say, what is that black thing? Okay, it's called Andromiscus Marianae F. Harry A. I heart Harry. Harry. <laughs> My little balls. The, the, this is just so cute. This is the cutest. Hang on, I'll just 
fix this up because all the soil has pushed it on the side. I got four balls. <laughs> they look like little balls. Wrinkly ball. <laughs> See? <laughs> Are they so cute? <laughs> I just love them. I just love them. So I've been after them for a long time. So there's quite a few form of this, of this Andromiscus. But I said any, any, anyone will do. And I have to uh, repot this, not repot because all the roots, can you see the roots is coming out because the soil has popped out of it. So anyway, guys, that's it. Oh, five. There's another one hiding. So I got five plants. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So it's a cluster. And Andromiscus uh, is quite easy to grow as well. So, and they can be frost hardy. So I'm going to grow this one. And hopefully once it has babies, I can separate the babies. Or even better, if they do flower, I am going to try and see if I can get hold of some seeds because they are quite easy to grow. So even the, the little balls or the leaves, their leaves, I would say, I don't know whether to call them plant or leaves because they are just so rounded. So anyway, so I'll just show Habi quickly. Oh, how cute is that? They almost look like edible berries. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, I thought you were gonna say it's a my little bowls are uh, actually COVID. They look like COVID. <laughs> they look like a virus. <laughs> it just looks like a virus. It looks like a coronavirus. <laughs> See, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Anyway, guys, I am just going to put this box away. And I'm going to put my, my plant hole in here and... Hopefully you enjoy that, even though I'm hot and because I've got the light in here and it's just shining on me. And then of course I'm drinking my ginger and apple tea with Manuka honey. Ah, on my dragon, blue dragon mug. It's actually a golden dragon, that one then. There, and then anyway. So that's it for this, my first ever online plant hole or shopping plant hole i don't know what you call it so hopefully i will be able to control myself and i don't get addicted too much which i promise i won't too much <laughs> too much that's the operative word and also i already posted a video today of my second plant hole now this was actually the first and then two days later i um <laughs> i had another online shopping for succulents and then this is how good my self-control is so that was the australia day and i was so good i did not buy any plants at all for the next five days after that and the next five days after that i'll have another plant hole for you so next time on my online shopping plant hole so on my next unboxing will be my third online shopping but I, I would actually count it i bought this once in january and the next ones was already bought in february so keep an eye for that video guys if you like plant unboxing join me next time as i take you to another plant unboxing thank you so much for watching and hopefully i'll see you on the next video bye